Hello friends, this is Priya from Chennai. Already we have seen the accounting approach. Now we are going to see the traditional approach. So what is a traditional approach? Traditional approach is the two-folded aspect of recording the financial transaction. So we are going to see the traditional approach. Otherwise we can say it as a golden rules of accounting. Let's see what are those rules. Traditional approach, it is classified as a personal and the impersonal accounts. Personal and the impersonal accounts. Personal means natural accounts, artificial accounts and the representative accounts. First we will see the what is natural account. Natural account is a which specify the persons. That is the, the accounts which specify only the person is a natural accounts. The artificial accounts is the accounts which specify other than the human beings or the persons is the artificial accounts. Those things are banks, uh, financial institutions, etc. Those things comes under the artificial account. Representative accounts are the accounts which represents which represent the person or the group of persons. So, uh, example for this is the outstanding salaries. So, outstanding salaries is comes under the representative accounts. Representative accounts is nothing but the the accounts which represent person or the group of persons. For example, if the person has to pay the salaries, outstanding salaries means, so it will be payable to the person is the representative accounts. Okay, next we will see there what are the impersonal accounts. Impersonal accounts are the real account, it is classified into real account and the nominal account. Real account means, which uh, real accounts are the uh, assets, properties or the possession of the uh, some some, re, uh, some assets we can say it as a real accounts. So what are the nominal accounts? Nominal accounts are the expenses and the losses and the incomes and gains comes under the nominal accounts. Here we, this uh, real account is classified as a tangible accounts and the intangible accounts. So what are those tangible and the intangible accounts? Tangible means the accounts which can be touched, seen, felt are known as the tangible accounts the accounts which cannot be felt which cannot be felt and the seen is a intangible accounts example for the tangible accounts are the missionary furniture missionary furniture so those things which we can see and touch so those things come comes under the tangible accounts intangible accounts means that is goodwill goodwill of the firm goodwill means good name good uh, good reputation for the firm so goodwill and the patent rights so trademarks comes under the intangible accounts so let's see the example for the how to do this problems with this golden rules we will see how to transfer the entries into the accounts Okay, personal accounts are the uh, rules. We now we are going to see the golden rules of accounting. That is, personal account means debit the receiver, credit the giver. I, I have already said personal account means which deals with the persons. Example, Richard account, Ram account. Here, personal accounts is the personal account rule is the debit the receiver, credit the giver. For example, let's see the example. Pay Mr. Harish. 10,000 by check. Here we are paying the Harish, Mr. Harish 10,000 by check. Here what are the accounts affected are Mr. Harish account and the bank account. Both accounts are get affected. So here how to apply the rule. Let's see how to apply the rule Mr. Harish account debtor to, to bank account. Here both accounts are personal accounts. I already said which deals with the persons is the personal account. So Harish is the person and the bank is the it is the artificial person. So we have already discussed the what is the artificial account. This is the artificial bank is the artificial account. 
artificial personal account so both deals with the personal accounts so here how to apply means debit the receiver the rule is debit the receiver rule is debit the receiver so we are debiting the harish account and crediting the giver account bank why you are debiting the debiting the harish and crediting the bank means here harish is paid harish is paid 10000 by check so we are paying the harish by 10000 by check we are giving the check to harish here bank so uh, check is the bank so here harish is getting the person who is receiving is the so uh, receiver so we are entering a receive, receiver's name here the bank the person who is giving is a bank bank means check he will be getting the check we should not enter as a check we should enter as a bank so uh, here the entry will be mr harish account debtor to bank being the narration will be we have to write as a narration as a being amount paid to harish by check we are paying the amount by check to the harish so here this rule we it is clearly understood that the debit the receiver here we are debiting the receiver the person who is receiving so we are debiting the receiver the person who is giving is the bank by bank we are giving that is we are giving the check so to bank the bank is the artificial person the harish is the personal so now now this rule is clearly understood let's see the next rule next we are going to see the real accounts real accounts is nothing but the which deals with the assets so the real account which deals with assets is the real account the rule is debit what comes in credit what goes out here for example let's see an example furniture purchased for cash 10000 so what are the accounts involved the accounts involved are furniture and the cash so when we are purchasing for cash means we have to write it as nature of the accounts involved are furniture account and the cash account so how to apply the rule applying the rule is the furniture account debtor to cash here furniture why we are putting the why we are debiting the furniture and uh, crediting the cash means furniture means debit what comes in we are purchasing the furniture so debit what comes in so we are debiting the furniture account so we are crediting the cash because the cash is going out so cash is a real account so cash is a real account and the furniture is also a it's a property so it is also a real account so nature of accounts involved is the real accounts both are real account cash is also a real account and the furniture is also a real account so both the things are involved so here we have to be careful in uh, debiting the thing because sometimes it may confuse uh, confusing in uh, doing the problems so we should be first we should be clear in the golden rules so only we can able to apply the, those rules properly so first uh, first one has to be thorough in those rules then only they can uh, form the journals okay let's see the next thing we are next we are going to see the last thing is the nominal account nominal account deals with the expenses and losses gains and incomes here the rule is debit all the expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains so we let let us see the example paid rent for cash 5000 here we are paying the paying the rent by cash 5000 so nature of the accounts what are the accounts involved are cash account and the rent account here the cash is the real account the rent is the nominal account so both the accounts are involved that is rent and cash is involved so how to apply the rule uh, apply the rule is rent account debtor to cash rent means debit debit all expenses here debit all expenses and losses so we have to debit the expenses and the losses credit the cash which going out going out from our pocket that is in the cash which is going out it is a so so we have to credit this so cash which goes out that is in real account the rule is the cash which goes out is the credit 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 the cash so we have to crediting the cash 
rent account debtor to cash so i think uh, you would have uh, and now you would have understood all the golden rules of accounting that is the real account that is the personal account real account and the nominal account real account mean debit the receiver credit the giver the real account is debit or the real account is the so three things which you, which i have thought is the personal account real account and the nominal account personal account means debit the receiver credit the giver uh, real account is the debit what comes in credit what goes out nominal account is the debit all the expenses and losses credit all the incomes and gains this is the most important uh, thing in the uh, thing in the, in journalizing the transaction this is most important aspect so go through this aspect uh, regularly so that you can understand the concept properly so that you can able to transact the transactions properly so we will be seeing next we will be seeing the how to journalize the transaction applying this rules i think uh, you would have understood the uh, golden rules next we can uh, see the what are the journals in the uh, what are the journals how to journalize the transactions and how to uh, post them in the ledger those things we will be seeing in the next class thank you friends if you have any doubt or any comment about this you can uh, go to go to the my number and say or you can call to my number this is my number priya Six three eight double zero nine seven four one nine. You can comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you, friends.